Andy Mogul. New episode of Backyard Effects. My name is Zach Finfrock, and today I'm gonna show you how to make a scientific injector gun with like liquid and like. <laughs> Now, in sci-fi movies, sometimes they'll have, like, an injection gun that, you know, puts a chemical into somebody, or, like, nanobots, or something cool like that. Well, I'm gonna show you how to do that using a cheap little squirt gun and some tricks with editing so it actually looks like you're pouring a liquid into somebody's arm. We're gonna turn to our friend Puppet Zack to spin the wheel to find out how much this build is gonna cost. Puppet Zack! Spin the wheel. Yes, I'll spin the wheel. Tiny squirt gun I bought at Target, dollar store bubble containers, thin tubing, food coloring, water, paint, and a hot glue gun. This build's difficulty level is five. Simple time now! Woo! The first thing I did was take the squirt gun apart and take out the water tank. Then it's pretty much just the gun part. I bought a few different guns, so I took a quick look at them with the bubble container to figure out which one looked the best. After that, I painted the gun. I tried using a new paint that sticks to plastic, but it didn't work. I should have used a primer. After that, I tried to wash it off. It was really just a waste of time. After doing my best to try to remove the paint, I painted a coat of primer on top. I decided to also paint the other gun that I bought just in case that the first one was going to work out. After those were dry, I took some scrap foam I had and a case I bought at a thrift store and I made a little case for the guns and the vials of liquid. It all adds to the effect but isn't absolutely needed. The next thing I did was take apart the bubble containers and made them look as scientific as possible, like little test tubes. If you can't find something like this, just anything thin and see-through will work. After that, I took one of the test tubes and made a little hole in the top of it, then glued it to the plastic tubing with a cap that came with the tubing. I added a lot of glue to make sure this was sealed airtight. While that was drying, I filled the other tubes up with the water that I added green food coloring to. Now, to make this effect work, you need three different types of test tubes. You need one filled with water, one with the hose, and one that's empty. You first shoot the gun and the filled test tube along with the assembly. Then you cut to a reaction shot of some kind. Then you switch to the vial with the tubing, fill with water, and hide the tubing behind your arm. When you inject someone, you unplug the tube and the water drains right out. Then you cut to another reaction shot. Last, you switch to the empty vial, and then you're done. If you did it all right, it should look something like this. And there's your build. Now, keep in mind with this build, it does have to do with some editing too when you use it. When you're doing this shot, you know, make sure you, you start with the gun hitting the person's arm, the liquid going down a little bit, cut the reaction shot, like, ah, oh, it hurts, and then cut back to the gun, you know, without the hose in it, li liquid is empty, and then you've got your effect. It's good. So, test film trailer, this way. <laughs> For today's episode of Backyard Effects. Leave a comment below, let me know what you thought of the episode, 
And if you're going to use this effect again, we will put it in the Your Effects next week if you send it in in time. So go to this video, which is, like always, the newest episode of Backyard Effects. Then go to this one. It's a mystery one. You're going to have to click it to find out what it is. Although you can already see what it is because it's a thumbnail. But just, you know. If you need any help on any uh, professional advice, just look at the special features when you look at a movie. Special features menu. Just click on that. And you can learn some great stuff.